at all these trimmings. What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. <sighs> so good to have you in the studio today. Man, we had some fun at Ensika last week. But now we're back in the studio and our Kickstarter ended, which means that we have like 250 pots we have to make over the next series of months. We're starting with these big bowls. So I threw some of these big serving bowls and this video is about trimming them. Cause I trimmed a couple of them. So you can see this one has nice, a nice smooth finished bottom. And I wanted to talk about a tool that I use. So this tool is from Mud Tools. This is not sponsored by them. I bought this with my own money. Uh, I did talk to them at Ensika though, because this tool is pretty freaking amazing. You might recognize this trim tool as a tool that you've used a lot. And this is like the only tool that I used for many, many, many years and it works great. But then I started using this tool and it's really interesting. I, I honestly, I, I'm not gonna tell you right now that this tool is way better than this tool, but I've been using this tool a lot and I like it. So I hope, I'm gonna try and put a link in the description um, of this video if you wanna go get one on Amazon, because then I would get like a small, small fraction. Yeah, so this video, we're gonna be doing all the trimming with this. So let's hop on the wheel and trim some bowls. Ready for that? You ready? I'll talk through it too a little bit, just in case you need a little refresher, because everybody kind of trims differently, so this is not the only way to trim, but this is the way that I trim. All right, let's do it. So we got our bowl, right? We got our bowl that we threw a couple days ago. I've been letting these dry, because I really wanted them to be the right consistency. It's really, really difficult to trim things when they're either too wet, and then obviously you don't want them to be too dry, because then it's hard to trim too. But these are at a perfect, perfect place to be trimming right now. So typically when I trim, I'll take a needle tool and I'll try and get it as close to centered as possible right away, right? And then I'll go one ring around the top. See that, see that came one ring. And then wherever the ring is closest to the edge, I'll move it slightly that way. So the right here is a little bit closer than over here, so I shifted it that way a little bit. So usually I do that one time, and then I'll go from the outside. So can you see that and hear it? How, so from right here, all the way around to right there, the needle hit, and it did not hit on the other side. So then I know that it's too far that way, so I'll just slightly move it. Then I'll do that again. And so now I can hear it, see how I hear it? So the needle is hitting all the way around. So now I know it's centered. So it's a pretty simple process. One, two, three. Usually I can do it in 10 or 15 seconds if I'm not talking about it. And then I fix my clay to keep the pot in the middle. And usually I just do three. Three is always a good number. And we'll go to it once I find my trim tool. Where did the trim tool go? There it is. Okay, so then the night, the cool thing about this tool is that it has two sides. It has this side, which acts as like a flat surface. So you can kind of come in from there. And the other side is this squared off version, which I really like having these corners because the corners allow you to really dig in and create a trim line, right? So what I do, I like to take a little bit off in the middle, leave some for the foot, and then also leave, put a little bit of um, foot in there from the edge too. So I'll come at it from this way, come from the side, and then I'll flip it around, go at it down this way. And the cool thing about, I'm still like learning to use this tool too, is you can use the side of it, you can use the front of it, you can use this side of it, and then you can use this side of it too. And you can use this and this, and it's just a really versatile tool. It's cool. I tend to like using this like curved edge on the base of the bottom. I haven't had as good luck doing the base with that squared off edge. And then what I like to do, is like if you kind of push in the middle, and I've gotten really used to this, um, you can tell kind of how thick it is based on how much it wobbles. Like if it starts, like I still want it to be pretty firm and thick. Like I know that I can just see it barely starting to move when I push on that. So I know that I pretty, I don't really want to go much deeper than that. 
I'll kind of square off, make sure that bottom edge is really flat. And then I like to put a little bit of a, an edge on there, especially if I'm gonna wax the bottom, which I definitely wax the bottoms of a lot of my bowls, then I'll wax right to there. And then it also, when it sits on the table, it kind of like has like a float uh, look to it, like it's just kind of floating on the table, which I like. So obviously this is just my way that I'm doing things. There's so many different ways to trim. It all just depends on what you want. What do you, what do you want the bottom of your pot to look like? The one nice thing about this tool too is that it really, it's fast. Like it really digs into the clay quickly, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. If you're not ready for it, then it's really probably gonna ruin the bottom of some pots for you, but. All right, there we go, that's probably pretty good. friends I hope you enjoyed look at all this trimmings look at all these trimmings so I hope you enjoyed this video this is our last one so we trimmed 10 of them and again these are the large serving bowls for the Kickstarter so shout out to I think nine nine people are getting these so yeah we just finished the Kickstarter super pumped getting close on the studio. What do you think? Comment below, tell me, is this how you trim? Is this, do you trim a different way? Do you, have you tried these those mud tool things? Oh, this is just not really working for me. Yeah, comment below, tell me what you guys wanna see. I haven't, I've been kinda slacking on the tutorial side of things. I've been doing lots of vloggy stuff, but March was just crazy, like so much going on. I was gone a couple times on a little vacay with my family and then the Enseca happened and so then I had all the footage from Enseca. It's just a lot going on. Now it's gonna be like spring and summertime and we're finishing up the studio and now we got the Kickstarter going. My focus has been not, not quite as much on the YouTube channel. But I think once I get back in the studio, I think I, I wanna do some videos like just pottery basics, like basic pottery stuff. Like if you've never done pottery before so I want to do that video I want to do like some wheel throwing tips like hacks I want to do a sitting or standing video like why I stand and I don't sit because that's something that I think would be really interesting to people I want to do yeah I want to do some of the business side I really want to do some of the business side of pottery like like is it possible to make it financially as just a full-time potter which the answer to that is Obviously it depends, as the answers to many hard questions in life are. Um, but I wanna do like how to sell more pots, like how to sell your pots on Etsy, how to do a Kickstarter, like, you know, what's it like to try and get into a gallery? 
you wanna do like the numbers side of things, like how much does a mug actually cost? So yeah, I got, I got lots of ideas for videos. There's no shortage of ideas. The only shortage is of the time ex for execution and the motivation for execution. Priorities, it's all about priorities, right? Like, you know, for the last year when I was really trying to build a YouTube channel, like my priority was to build a YouTube channel. But now, right now, my priorities have kind of shifted to like, let's get all the Kickstarter rewards done so that we can really like hit that out of the park and hit a home run there so that everybody that gets those pots are super happy with them. And then priority, and then the lake opens up and then my priorities get to like, I wanna go wakeboarding all the time. So, and obviously like spending time with EC and Ryder is a priority. So, yeah, like how you prioritize your time is just like basically shows you where your values are. This was my this was my idea with Thursday throwing thoughts is I would just like get on here, start throwing, and then just like talk about whatever. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. So tell me, what kind of what videos do you guys want to see? Out of those things that I kind of said, like the business side, I really wanted to. I mean, I started the channel and I wanted to do more stuff about business and entrepreneurship and owning a small business and stuff because I feel like that's something that is super unique like there's obviously lots of pottery tutorials and everybody does it kind of a different way and but i feel like you know people probably wonder a lot about like how do you own your own business like the actual like but some of that stuff's really boring like how to how to read a profit and loss statement should we do that video how to how to balance your balance sheet so anyway i want to say Thank you guys so much for subscribing, for being subscribers, for actively watching all the videos. Thanks especially to all the people that contributed to the Kickstarter. That was like super essential for finishing up that studio. Now we're now we're filling Kickstarter orders and finishing up the studio. Probably put on paint later tonight. That is getting way too thin. I just have gotten, I've been distracted by talking and now I have a too thin of a pot. You see that little dent right there? It's too thin. I mean, chance it might work. It might not, it might work. It might crack. That was dumb. Wish I would have been paying more attention. But at least we got something. At least hopefully you guys got something out of that little chat. So that's it for this video, guys. Trimming, 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 trimming. One of my favorite tools right here. Focus on that. Focus. No, it doesn't want to focus. The Mud Tools tool. Thanks for watching this video, guys. You guys are the best. Love you so much. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment, share, all those things. And we'll see you in the next video. <gasps> Just kidding, you can stay and watch me trim this donut if you want. Strikes by my window. It's my chest right in the morning. Slept here for days I felt your heart beat Felt your mouth Just try and guess what it's gonna be. Hey.